Sadhana Nirvir here. We're going to practice a Kriya today, wonderful Kriya for self renewal, uh, taught May 17th, 1992. You can look it up in the Library of Teachings. It's also in the KRI book, Physical Wisdom. Now, self renewal, the thing about Kundalini Yoga is that it's possible to do that because Kundalini Yoga is so effective in working on the nervous system. In this Kriya, there's brain balancing exercises. It's great for the glandular system. There are exercises in this particular Kriya that are uh, fantastic for allowing a balance to come in the secretion of your glands. And, uh, and also, it works on lots of different levels. Uh, towards the end of the Kriya, there's meditative things that we're going to be doing that will help to unload the unconscious because that's what we do and why we do these meditations. Uh, in Kundalini Yoga is so that subconscious doesn't bother us, the unconscious especially doesn't come into the consciousness. And, uh, and we work on, on, on uh, clearing and uh, so that it doesn't get in the way of our calmness, our peace of mind, and our happiness. And so, uh, let's get started with the tune in mantra. Palms together at the heart center. Inhale deeply. And exhale to begin. Inhale. Om Namo Guru Namo Om Namo Guru. And exhale, relax the breath and relax the hands. I'll be playing some music for you today. You'll see me leaning over and changing the music on the computer. We're going to be using last four lines of Japsa by Guru Gobind Singh. And for victory, for courage, um, there are a lot of different versions of this and musical versions and, and, and great to recite, great to listen to, and I'll play various cuts for you. Uh, while, while we do these exercises today. All right, so very first exercise. Now, in this exercise and in the uh, third exercise, you're going to lean back a little bit. All right, so here I am pretty much upright, and here I am leaning back just a little bit, just to the extent where my knees are lifting up a bit. And so you want to, to keep the pelvis tilted forward. In other words, you're not going to slump down so that your head up like this, and the chin remains uh, at a right angle to the chest. So you're in neck lock, so you don't want to have your chin forward like this as well, because we're really working on you know, the chakras, the energy centers. We want this energy really to move. And in this particular, in the first and third exercise, we're uh, really stimulating the navel point, right? And getting that energy to help us to, uh, with, with circulation and our nervous system. All right, so this very first exercise, what you're going to do is you're going to lean back a bit, fingers wide, fingers up like this, and, and so that the elbows are straight, and you'll do breath of fire. So go ahead and begin breath of fire. Nice steady breath. This is the translation of Chatra Chakravarti, which you're listening to at first, and then you'll go into a musical version that will help you with the, the breath of fire. But keep that angle.
Keep the breath of fire strong. This is really a posture of ecstasy. So it's always good to bring an emotional component to these exercises at times, especially when it's called for. And in this case, you know, you're like, it's like an ecstatic uh, position of the body. So keep that in mind as you're really stimulating the navel center via a strong breath of fire. Now you have one more minute in this part. We're going to hold the position after this minute, and then we're going to be doing breath of fire through the mouth with the tongue out after about a minute. And it'll still bring in a tremendous amount of energy, but it will cool the system down. So stay in your posture of ecstasy and keep the breath of fire going. Stay in position, keep the lean going, and now mouth open, tongue all the way out, breath of fire through the mouth. This is like a dog panting, and so um, and it's a great way to teach people breath of fire when they're not familiar with it at first. But keep the breath strong and powerful. As much as you put into these um, asanas and these breathing techniques in the period, the more you get out of it. So, so really go for it. We're going to do this for a couple of minutes. One more minute, keep that angle with your back. Posture of ecstasy. Come all the way out, strong breath of fire through the mouth. And now, inhale, hold the position. Exhale, relax your arms down. Okay, great, good. Okay, next exercise is that you're gonna have the palms together with the thumbs crossed, and it's important that you keep the palms together. But you're gonna have the arms up overhead, all the way up overhead. I'll show you, you won't be able to see my hands probably. And then you're going to constantly lift yourself up like you're going anti-gravity, stretching up, you know, these three nervous systems are, are meet at the armpits. So it's really stretching the armpits and stretching the spine. And uh, Yogi Bhajan, we taught this, that is that you won't go senile if you, if you can do this exercise properly. All right, so arms up overhead, palms together, lock the thumbs, really stretch up, 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 and continue stretching up 
So it's not a movement, but it's a constant pressure to take your fingertips and place them up towards the, the ceiling. You're just gonna fight gravity and just allow the, continue, just allow the, um, the rib cage and the armpits to stretch. And there's no particular breath rhythm with this. You just wanna just keep stretching. you really put an effort into this, it's not all that easy. <laughs> but keep the palms together and just keep basically diving into the heavens. Really stretch through the rib cage, the spine, the armpits, and just keep a steady pressure going. Less than a minute left. Stretch, keep stretching. Now inhale, stretch up, stretch up, 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 up. And exhale, relax the arms down. Just sit quietly for a moment, normal breath. Okay, next exercise. Here's a very specific mudra. You're gonna have the thumbs right underneath the ring finger, right under the sun finger. And then you're gonna close the fingers around the, it's, it's a little bit challenging to hold on to this. And you're gonna have the arms out by the sides and you're gonna make small circles with the hands as you bring them all the way up and then all the way down and fairly rapidly. And then once again, you're gonna be leaning back a little bit, just like the first exercise. All right, so in position, and now begin. All the way up, all the way down, small upward circles. This is fantastic for the glandular system. So, really move quickly. Get the hands in the mudra and keep that lean back. We're, we're looking at not only stimulating the navel point again with this moving energy, 
but also the kind of pressure is going to be uh, placing uh, pressure on the, the adrenal glands and also I guess head and neck position on the thyroid and parathyroid. So just keep moving, just let, let the breath regulate itself. sure to like keep pressure in the chest open as it is you don't collapse down as you're leaning back keep the shoulder blades together so you're placing pressure on the shoulder blades as well as you move up and down quickly Keep a good steady pace, a good steady rhythm. This is kind of fun at first, and then it gets a little bit strenuous. You have to use a bit of grit to really maintain that position with the back and to move. So use the power of the mantra, Chaturchakravarti, to give you courage to actually really go through the exercise to complete it. Use your stamina, use your grit. This is great for the physical nature of the body and the glands of your system. And, you know, the, the, guard, the glands are the guardians of your health, so want to be healthful and youthful, really keep the glands in shape. It's a great exercise for that. You're half done. Keep going, it's a nice steady pace.
No, you have one more minute. Do your best. Add a little fire to it. Right? Really, really go for it. Put some energy into it from the navel center point, from the from the navel center point. Work out some of this unresolved anger you might have. Really go for it. Last 30 seconds. Okay, next exercise. You're gonna have your left palm down and your right palm up, and you're gonna keep the arms in line kind of like a seesaw, and you're gonna move the arms up and down like this, but you're gonna move kind of as fast as you can. This is a brain balancing exercise. All right, so come into position, and now begin left hand up, right palm down, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> left hand down, right palm up, and move. Once again, just let the breath regulate itself. If in, indeed you start breathing a little bit more deep, which is likely if you're really moving quickly. Move quickly, move quickly. Keep moving fast. You're you're over half done. Last minute. seconds more.
Inhale. And exhale, relax the hands down. And just rest just a moment. Okay, next exercise, open your eyes. This time you're gonna have the thumbs underneath the Mercury Mound instead of before we had the sun. But you're gonna leave your fingertips open and uh, straight like this. But you're gonna hold the hands at the side so that in a certain sense, the tip of the fingers are about the level of the ear. So you're really plugging into your arc line. And you pull the elbows back a bit. So the chest is up, you stay in neck lock, Jalandra Bund. Eyes are going to be closed and there's going to be a specific drishti for this drishti eye position. And oftentimes we have an eye position at the brow point or looking at the screen of the forehead, the frontal brain area. This time you're going to have your eyes closed and you're going to press your eyes down so you imagine you're looking at your chin. But then you're going to create a screen at your chin and you're going to Recreate your favorite fantasy, whatever fantasy comes up in the moment, but you're going to see it for real through the chin. This is really working on using your imagination to work on the unconscious mind. All right, so hands in position by the side, chest up high, chin level, eyes closed. Press the eyes down as though you're imagining you're looking at your chin. See a screen down there and Keep recreating in all its dimensions, you know, a fantasy of yours. It can be a happy one. It can be whatever you would like. And just hold this position steady. Keep your visualization of the fantasy going at the chin. Lengthen the breath so you're doing slow, deep breathing. And just listen to Arinian's version of God is the only last four lines of Job Sound.
stay steady with your drishti, with your visualization of your fantasy, pressing the eyes down, imagining you can see that screen where your chin will be. Last couple of minutes, stay steady. And now inhale deeply, hold the breath, suspend the breath, and squeeze every muscle in your body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 
exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Squeeze, tighten every muscle in the body. Exhale. <sighs> Last time. Inhale deeply. Hold, squeeze, tighten. And exhale. Relax the arms down. And just rest for a moment with the hands in the lap. And now very slowly now, uh, begin standing up. And you're gonna dance for a few minutes. Really distribute the energy throughout the body. So stand up. And move the body. Move everything, move the whole thing. It's just for a couple of minutes, so feel free to move, move, move. Half done, keep moving. Just spread this beautiful energy that you've been creating and consolidating. Clear off the effects of the last meditation. Balance the whole body out through this joyous, fun, rhythmic movement of the body. One more minute. And now inhale and stop the motion and, and come back, sitting back down. All right, this is the last exercise in the Korean, then we're going to take a little deep relaxation. So very specifically, you're going to have the palms together and you're going to take the thumbs and you're going to place them kind of right in this hollow place on either side of the nose. But don't place a lot of pressure there, all right? But you just want the hands in a position like this, and make sure that the chest is up high, the chin is level to the ground, slightly tucked in, the under bottom. And just hold this position now, and then uh, chant along with Aung Namo and Good 
use the navel point, chant from the heart, chant along with all the mouth of the dead out loud. Guru Dev. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath, suspend the breath. Through the nose, exhale. Keep your hands in position. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath, suspend the breath. Exhale. One more time. Inhale deeply. And exhale, relax the hands down, relax the hands in the lap, and just sit for a moment. And now, moving slowly and smoothly, come out of position, straighten out your legs. Go ahead, lie down, flatten your back. We'll rest on the back for a few minutes. So legs uncrossed, arms by the sides, palms up, eyes gently closed, breath soft and normal. So allow yourself to come. i 
Chitra Chakra yourselves back, roll the hands, roll the feet, stretch the arms up overhead, big stretch up, twist the body from side to side, together, 
the soles of the feet together vigorously. Draw the knees up, rock a few times. Okay, let's have the palms together at the heart center, and then we'll finish up this class with the sunshine song, and we'll do it old school way. Inhale deeply. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on guide your way on Sad Nam. oh divine mother let us renew so that we can renew ourselves. Let us use all the gifts that we have been given by this precious earth and by the wonderful teachers that have guided us through our lives so that we may balance, that we may be healthy, that we may be happy, that we may lift up the whole planet with our light that we show from within. Sadhana. Okay, so thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the class and sign up.